Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, AZD here, and I'm doing this video about the second stimulus check update and what's going on with the second stimulus package. Now, I know many of you probably heard by now. Oh, sorry about that. It can't be too loud. Got my son back there. Kind of knocked out. Really don't want him to be sleeping because, I mean, he's probably going to go to bed too late tonight. But, um, anyways... I want to talk about the second stimulus check update and what's going on because I know you probably heard by now that President Trump is saying that he wants a larger package than what Pelosi and the Democrats want. So what does that mean? What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm AZ and before I continue this video, please hit that like button and let YouTube know that this video is of value to you and can be of value to others. So let's continue, right? So, so President Trump is saying that he wants more in a stimulus package and stimulus checks direct to the people more than what Pelosi and the Democrats want. And now what he's talking about is the HEROES Act. And the HERO Act wants another $1,200 going out to each citizen as well as $1,200 for each dependent with up to three dependents. And before that, the Senate before that, the, the Republicans in the Senate, they were saying, now this is dead on arrival, and they wasn't supporting it. But now with the job market and the unemployment so high, a lot of them starting to back it up and starting to support it. So here we have it now, right? The job market comes out again, and it kind of fluctuating. You can see they saying that the, the job did increase by, um, I think, 4.5, 4.5 million new jobs. But that job report wasn't done like late June. That job report was done was like done between June seventh and thirteenth. That would happen before all of this rise of the new, the new cases of the of the of the um new cases of the virus that's spreading around. In addition to, they didn't put in the job numbers for the unemployment rate for June because with that 4.5 increase of jobs there's another 1.5 unemployment that got filed this past week. So that kind of knocked that down to about $3 million job that was increased. So maybe with this and the conversation that's going on and the job numbers and the recent outbreaks, like I don't want to say part two of the pandemic, but it's like a new, a new outburst. So for some states that didn't exactly have a big outburst, they're starting to have an outburst. For some states that's opening up early, they're starting to have an outburst, so they got to shut back down. So the economy is kind of like iffy right now, even though the stock market is doing good, the economy is iffy. So President Trump is saying that he's going to put out more, more stimulus than what the HEROES Act is acting for. The HEROES Act is just acting, the HEROES Act is just asking for one point, one time payment of $1,200 to each person. But like in a video that I said before, with President wanting a more dramatic, a more dramatic stimulus package, as well as he's saying it's going to be more than what the Democrats want. Because going back to that video that I said before, he probably want more than one payment of $1,200. So I was saying $1,200 for August, September, and October. Some people's probably saying, oh, they're probably just going to go to a $2,000 one-time payment. But the way the economy is going and the way that we're not sure and the way that we are uncertain of the virus and how it's going to spread and with school starting back up people are going to need some funds so people with uncertainty if they're not going to go back to work but they're going to need money when school starts back up so you're going to need clothing you're going to need supplies you're going to need all this stuff when school starts back up so the best way to stimulate the economy as well as give some like kind of comfort for the people is to send out more stimulus check and i'm going back to my first scenario where i say hey he's wanting something more dramatic more intense and they're gonna try to put this out by august because remember right now right now the the senate and house of representatives is on recess for another two weeks so they're gonna come back after i think july 17th so that whole read right there they're gonna have to press out and work out the issue because they go for another recess by, by august 8th so going back to what i was saying with the economy to where it's going the job numbers I think he's going to be asking for something dramatic, especially with election season, and they're going to try to put this in place before the next recess in August, that's going to be around August 8th. So after they come back from this recess, they have about two or three weeks to hatch things out. And what I think the president is doing, he's in his office, he got his advisors, his administrators, and they're ironing something out, and they're going to send it to the Senate and say, go, hey, when y'all go back in off a recess, make sure y'all look at that HEROES Act, make sure y'all take this out put this in you know some of that hazardous pay 
some of that um, vacation stuff like I was talking about, in addition to um, direct payment. And I'm thinking they're going to do three rounds of direct payment of $1,200. That's just, just my scenario. Some people are saying it's one time $2,000. Sometimes saying um, $2,000 for the next six months. I'm going with $1,200 for the next three months. And well, we're going to see how it pans out. There's a lot of different things, a lot of different bills that's coming out, a lot of proposal. And I think they can work this out before August 8th because they just expanded the PPP deadline. The PPP deadline expired and they had, I think, like over $150 billion still in the program. So what they did, the Senate did something, the House of Representatives, they all came together and they said, okay, we want this expanded. We want this extended until August. Now it's extended to August. All they're waiting for is the president to just sign off on that law. Now, how fast was that? Why they couldn't that do that for the PUA, the unemployment? Why they couldn't do that for another round of stimulus checks? So it's all about the numbers, the job numbers, the unemployment. So I'm going to do another follow-up about this. Also, I'm going to do a follow-up on people who haven't received their first stimulus check. And in addition to what kind of um, programs are out there to help people. So once again, this is Ainsley Dawkins. Hope y'all got some value out of this. Please like, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all next time. Continue to be safe. Peace.